Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to Bamburgh Castle, more specifically the Armoury of the Castle. Now this room here has a fantastic history about it because during the Middle Ages, especially during the 12th, 13th and 14th centuries, this was one of the chapels of Bamburgh Castle. So this is a location where the residents of the castle would come to to pray during their day-to-day -day lives. Now that is quite an interesting one as you can look around me today and see that the walls are covered in medieval and more modern weapons. Now when they're covered with these medieval and more modern weapons, these are collections that have been donated or were residing within the castle when it came into the hands of the Armstrong family and in other collections that have been added over the years as well. So we have a very wide ranging history of weaponry that would have been used both here in the British Isles and across the rest of Europe and in other parts of the world as well within this room. So what you can see here is a range of spears and weapons on the walls, or, or, or more specifically pikes. You've got halbeards, which is a very much a heavy infantry weapon that was used during the late Middle, Middle Ages just to counter the heavily armoured knights and foot soldiers that were common on the battlefields at this time. Then moving into flintlock weapons with attached bayonets, which are again a sign of the more modern version of warfare. And then down here as well, a selection of weapons from the rest of the world, including Japanese and Far East Asian weapons, which were obviously collected by the Armstrong family over time too. An interesting side fact about this is that many of the more medieval weapons have been assessed over time and have actually been discovered to have been used during their history. When they were used during their history, that means that they actually have human blood on them. And it just shows you again how brutal that the wars between England and Scotland were, and also possibly England to France as well, that these medieval weapons that we think of today as museum pieces were once active weapons used during conflicts throughout the world, or throughout England and Scotland at least. Over here as well, we have a wonderful bit of history right here in Bamber as well. And these are two pattern welded swords. Now, an archaeologist called Brian Hope Taylor was digging at Bamber Castle. And when he was digging at Bamber Castle, he was excavating in the 1960s and he discovered the forge down in the industrial zone by the St. Oswald's Gate. When he discovered this industrial zone, as a part of that, he discovered these two pattern welded swords. And these are incredibly high status weapons in the early medieval period, or what's more commonly known as the Dark Ages, because these weapons would have taken a long time to construct. What you did is you took um, bars of iron, heated them up and then twisted them around each other and hammered them flat so the central bar of the sword would have this beautiful inlaid pattern as a part of the blade. Then you would take two higher quality iron or even steel blades and you would put them into the side of this central bar and then hammer that in and heat weld it so they would all form together to form a single sword. That shows that here at Bamber there were a very, very talented blacksmiths forging these weapons and that these were being given to high status soldiers or warriors who were a part of the king's retinue here at Bamber. And there was one particular pattern welded sword which had a huge number of bars as a part of its construction and nine different iron bars that had been pattern welded together to create a beautiful blade. So you can see that these are really, really high status items, really, really impressive weapons that are being used by the warrior elite of Northumbria up here. Here. How these ended up in the forge is probably that they were being repaired or possibly even recycled as they needed to either produce new blades or put these back into service again and they were just left to one side, forgotten about and destroyed as Bamborough was being moved through its history either when maybe the uh, forge itself went out of use or was damaged at some point. So you can see that there's quite a varied range of history right here within the fortress itself and within this room have it been, it been moved from being a medieval chapel through to being the modern armory that you see here today. Even though this has been a short video, I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned something about the past inside this room. If you would like to like and subscribe, that would help a lot and please share the video with your friends. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in a video in the future. Until then, stay safe and well and thank you very much.